guys welcome back to digital master online so today you may ask why I'm not logged in well the reason is there's something new they added uh, recently that I really want to go and see it's in here when when you just create it for a new player when you create a character and uh, I know let's name him shadow normally oh my god it's already used so used come on <laughs> yes uh, so uh, when you create a new character and go you're gonna see you're gonna be directed to the royal peace dungeon and this is really weird but as you can see here you have Omega Mon X with like I don't know it's all nines with HP and DS and here as you can see they they're gonna tell you what what to do so yeah so if we have like the riding we can't ride unfortunately uh, we have to defeat the uh, X Mon and we can't see the Digimon stats by the way I don't know I'm clicking on it but I can't so it's really kind of cool to have Omega Mon to start with you so here we go and it's level 1 <laughs> what? <laughs> level 1 is level 20 and X Digimon oh my god oh no so uh yeah there we go he's telling you how to use the skills so we're gonna have a good chance oh my god this is amazing i really didn't have any omega man x you guys over there before and it's uh, keep on telling me to have to use a skill and there we go i have to grace sword again and he's dead so uh this is pretty amazing and then it's gonna send you to uh this is weird where is this place I haven't been actually in any map of these. Not on Raiba, not in Shibuya. I don't know where is this map actually. It's a Yokohama village and it seems pretty new. But this is really amazing. But I uh, didn't have a chance to see how the deck is, does he have and the stuff in there. So it was really kind of annoying. So, but I really wanted to see that because I saw that there is. Um, as you see here guys it's just we're doing the tutorial gonna close it and if you checked in our inventory there is no Omega Mon X it's just a starter just to introduce you to the game to see that how cool is Omega Mon X is it is pretty cool actually I don't, I don't I don't say that he's not cool he's pretty cool at Digimon so so yeah I have to say that come on Imagine this DJ egg is gonna fail. It's gonna be a really weird thing. <laughs> well, I don't think so. I think it's it's yeah. It's because it's a tutorial and won't gonna fail, so it's gonna be going good. So we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna see how the stuff is going here in the tutorial because I saw there's a difference in here and they added many things and they removed many other things. And they like, I don't know, like, here's a fence. There wasn't any fence in here before. I don't remember there was a fence. Oh, it's gonna be removed. So, you can see you have a DG egg for free. And, uh, this is. I don't know, they just made new, new stuff in here. I know, I'm, I'm looking actually what's new in there because I saw, like, uh, Agumon wasn't here before and where's the NPCs in here? they removed the NPCs in here and there was an NPCs in here as well it has been removed they updated the map and there's Piomon there wasn't a Piomon before in here oh the NPCs has been moved to here oh I see where's Mary by the way? <laughs> as you can see like there's Digimons in here and the entire map has been changed. I mean, even the visual, the visual of the map has been changed. And here is, oh my God, it's open here. I know, guys, but before there was a way in here closed, and the place was totally different. It's pretty like kind of amazing that they change a little bit in the game. And really, and it's so that new players can have really cool stuff when they come along and play. And the, the coolest thing was having uh, um, Agumon, uh, sorry, Megamon X. 
that you can go with him. So this was a pretty good thing. Oh god, we're gonna die. <laughs> uh, no. Actually, no, we're not gonna die. So they, they, they told us that the prince had... I, I'm already, I already know the stuff, how this stuff is going. But I didn't want to check the map, actually, in a while. So, um... We're gonna go back to my character again. I'm gonna check the map faster than what we are doing. So the, the important thing that they had new way to for you guys to play again when when you when then for the new players actually it's pretty good for new players that they have Omega Mon X to try and to start with especially if he's pretty good and strong Digimon actually and that's make the game pretty different. So I'm here. I'm gonna go there fast. I'm gonna look at the new Gahama. Never mind the buffs. I just was doing like code on stuff. So I'm really curious to see the map more, and more actually. So as you can see, that even the the, t the picture of the map has been changed, and this is really cool. I didn't recognize this this picture before and was saying what map is this because I haven't been here in a new event I played the game but I played on the old map or uh, the map that you all maybe remember or not and as you can see it's pretty amazing like as you can see here even the Digimon places has been changed like Kuruman will Keraman wasn't here, Zeus wasn't there, this one wasn't in there even, it was like more simple than this. So if we keep on going, I'm really curious to see how the map is, looks like. Oh my god, it's really amazing. Like you have here uh, many NPCs, you can see. You can see here the Digimon are changed as well. Even the places in here, I don't know, like like there was there wasn't this place in here. There wasn't any. This is amazing actually. The way that they moved in and they changed that it's pretty cool. I wonder like if if you are in here, so where is the entrance? I'm really, what? What is that? What is that? I have a quest in there? This is so weird. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like level 109. How do I have a quest in there? I'm really gonna go and check that. I really don't, not familiar with this map because it's pretty new at it. And I wasn't here like since really way too long time, to be honest. So there's no way from here, so we have to go from this way. And you're gonna see, but I saw like... I saw the tutorial was from here. I saw that they have changed stuff on tutorial on the map. So... I really wanted to come along and see what the things that has been updated. And yes, there's something actually in here. This is so weird. Like, what does he need from me, this guy? What What do you need to become a deadest? I'm already a deadest member. Bruh. So, should I do the quest or not? I'm not gonna do that because I'm already a deadest member and the XP from it is way too low. There's nothing to be done with it, but I think it's just maybe for all players as well. Um, I'm gonna go to... Yokohama East Village. I want to see if they updated stuff in there as well. I'm really kind of curious to see. I mean, yeah, this was in the enemy. This was in Data Squad. This was the, the real one in Data Squad. As you can see, guys, here. This was in Data Squad for real. This the school. If you saw the enemy and this this area, it was there as well. And Tugumon and big. <laughs> Tamer was there as well, but not in the year, it was in, just in the game. Uh, I really want to go and see if they updated another map or just was it. But this map seems to stay the same, Steam stay old map, so I think the map is... Damn, son! Oh God, what happened? 
So yeah, no update for this map. Oh, rip. There's no update in this map. I will have to just update one map, yeah. And they added an event. We're gonna go on that and check it. I'm way too lazy to go from map to map, so I'm gonna just move faster. I'm gonna go there faster. I don't want to move from map to map and do loading screen again. So here in Dallas again, as you can see here, my friend Kalumon, cute Digimon, the Digimon I love. Um, he doesn't have anything for me. He just have the same quest that I have done before, but I didn't complete it yet. Uh, let's talk about here Leomon, the Digimon who dies in every season and even in the game in here. Uh, he has something. He has the burning time map has back again, as you can see here. The time is in PST, so you have to to see how is it in your local time. You see the difference when does it open, when does it close in your local time. And as you can see, there's a weekdays. Oh, bro, we can we can't enter? It's not open yet. And weekends we can't open it. The good thing here is you can deliver your Digimon until 110 easily. After what we saw in there, maybe you can do that stuff. And the new thing is there. We have a cute Terriamon in here, who had a quests or oh, who who can make items actually for you. So you can see, uh, you need to bring him chocolate coins in order to make stuff for him. And I'm really willing to have. Look, his drinking is so How cute is that? Wait a second, is it drinking as well here? I'm, I'm really curious to see. They say him like drinking soda, but I didn't see him if he drink in here. Can, can I see? Come on, come on, run your animation. Come on, drink the soda, you cute Tyriamon. Alright, uh, we're gonna talk about this stuff until he want to drink his soda. So the cool thing in here is that the high level mysterious X hunter manufacturer for Mega Mon X says we can get pretty good items if we got a lock. Oh look, he's doing it! And this sneezing, how cute is that? I, I didn't know that he can do that. That's his animation. Alright, uh, before about that, we go, we have Tyriamon and uh, Lupomon here. And as you can, as you know, Lupomon and Tyriamon are the same but different ev evolution line. If you saw season 3, you kind of know the story between Tyriamon and Lupomon. So he has like a quest for you first, but it's just like an XP and 10 byte, 10 megabytes, so you can survive a little bit in this game. Especially if you are kind of broken. Um, so he, do, he gives you the buffs, actually. As you can see, he needs like a chocolate, you have to collect chocolate and come to him and there's buffs uh, and HP recovery this thing is it gives you like 2000 HP 1600 DS I wonder no and this one is give you like 50% HP it's buff and those are buffs this is for attack wars this is for critical or critical damage or it's for critical attack it's 50% up as well so we have here two another new events we have Anju woman who she's gonna give us two stuff and here if we are here if he, if he brought if we bring her fragment of the moon of monsters at the fine island area she can help us to do I can help you to input the moonlight as you can see we have we can we can have blessed Eternal Moonlight Box and we have the Moonlight Energy but here it's right click to open I wonder what does it give actually and uh, as you can see you have to go to Anjumon in order to do the stuff here Anjumon gonna tell you again to uh, why can't you retrieve the Super Moon oh yeah by the way uh, the chocolate are as I read and as I looked for the chocolate, unfortunately, you can get the chocolate when there's a raid, as you can see, there's a raid in 10.30 and 13.30 in PST time. As you can see, it's in uh, 
It's a stone, snowstorm village. It's uh, the power, the power bomb on raid. You have to go there and you have to do the raid in order to get the chocolate. And I haven't been there, but I'm really sure that the people who are gonna get the chocolate are like top five or top ten. I'm really not sure about that. I hope like everyone who gonna get the chocolate in there. I, if you know about this thing, I just write down in the comment and it's gonna be really cool. Uh, here Anjuman as you see he's gonna give you like the last thing in order to to make the stuff in here as you can see and later after crafting the stuff you have to come back again to craft it oh, to make shit. it something it else but it's a crystal in here and here is I don't know it's both our crystals but yeah you have to craft this one and then come back here I don't know if you can use this thing you can have something else and if you have craft this thing can have something else but I'm pretty sure that the things that in here gonna be better than what is in here because you know it's it's another crafting it's again that's one percent so I don't even know about this thing so we can say those are the those are level 120, that's really good actually. I, I still don't have any teacher ones 120. The cool thing is maybe if I did the burning time, maybe I can level my teacher ones to 120. I hope so. And I hope there's no players who can just spam macro and annoy the other players that don't, don't, don't let them level their Digimons. Because it's really not uncool to spawn, to report and use a macro, use a macro just in order to get the player banned and then you steal his spot and leave your teacher on. It's a pretty bad thing to do to the players. It's really not cool. Many, many innocent people get banned because of this and no one is, no one knows that. No one actually says it, no one just cares about that because your yeah, players get banned. Yeah, we got reported because because of him doing macro, so we thought he's botting, and the players got got banned because of that, because no one has checked if those players were really botting or just leveling their Digimon in burning time. So burning time map, you have to be careful from those players who just spam macro in order to get ma more Digimon and kill faster, and this is a really, really uncool and bad thing to be done to the other players. And just just imagine yourself, just imagine yourself in his situation, and you're gonna know how it's annoying it is. I'm I'm, I'm seeing that. Just just imagine you're there, and someone just macro you, and you don't know how to answer the macro, and you get banned, and you lost your account, you lost everything you have, just because what? Because someone has macroed you, and you haven't done anything wrong. And this is really bad thing to be done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and look at me. Beautiful Kalumon is happy. I like this Digimon. Um, so, I, uh, so I wish you guys who enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. Like, share, subscribe, comment down if you have any ideas or anything you want to know. So, 